so the dreaded harvest begins. I'm starting with cherries this year. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the stems off and separating them. I'm going to dehydrate these into um, like cherry raisins. And I need to do this quickly because they're already starting to go bad. They're only a couple of days picked and I already had to take out a handful of bad ones and throw them outside. So, so they go into the washing water and then from here take the cherries to the dehydrator and I will make some cherry raisins. Continuing on, now I have two, la um, two full layers of cherries. Uh, my dehydrator is a Garden Master by Nesco American Harvest. Uh, it's a food dehydrator and beef jerky maker. Um, I really, really like this model. It has temperature settings um, and it will cost you know, um, some money to uh, to get started, but these I really like this too because it's expandable. I got eight trays with it, um, but I I know it I know it can take a lot more. I think you can um, stack it 30 high. Um, so last year I bought this, and since um, it was the same year, I didn't want to go all out with um, adding layers. But this year I will probably um, put some money in, back into it and buy more layers so I can make it higher and it also comes with um, let me show you over here it comes with these um, oh there's the other accessories I'll show you this um, this is like kind of a, a little liner to go on it it's useful with certain things um, I really like lining it when I have beef jerky because it kind of catches the fat but this is a little um, so basically it's like making, it's for making fruit leather um, or, you know, fruit roll-up type stuff out of fruit. So if I had any left from last year, I'd show you, but they disappear quick because they're so yummy. So about my cherry pitter, this is by far the easiest and fastest way to process your cherries. Now occasionally you'll have one where the pit doesn't come out and they're usually the ones that float because the, uh, actually this one's fine. But um, the seed is lighter. Let me show you an example. See the seeds generally float, so it's easy to pick them out. But you should still be careful when eating them um, that you, you know, just be cautious about seeds. Now last year I didn't have this handy cherry picker, and um, all I did was I manually squeezed them out like that. So. Uh, they're not as pretty that way, but you definitely don't need to have one of these. But it does make it really, really fast. You can pit cherries very, very fast. So this this uh, brand is called Norpro Deluxe Cherry Pitter. I prefer the suction base because I can set it up right next to my sink. Uh, but you should be aware that um, of what type of base you're getting because there's also like a, a vice type one. So let me show you how fast this works. And just like that, my cherries are pitted. I have eight full layers now, so now I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm going to get it started. Now I wait. So while I wait, I wanted to show you this book, How to Dry Foods by Deanna DeLong. This book came with my dehydrator. So um, what also came with it was the recipes and instructions guide, which has like basic information and how long you dry stuff. But this book was really awesome. I, I really found it useful. Um, it tells you, you know, exactly how to dry all of your different foods. So it has, um, you know, about the history, the drying process, um, different stuff, fruits, fruits, fruit leather. So I'm doing fruit right now, so I'm going to go to page six cherries.
drying temperature 160 for two to three hours and then 130 until dry. Hi everyone, I'm back on day two and these are my cherries. They're not all finished, but a lot of them are. So the ones that don't have any moisture left, I'm going to take and put them in this jar. So here's my finished cherries. There's still a couple more in the dehydrator, but you can see that I have two quarts full. And there they are. That's what they look like. They're delicious. I'm going to eat one. Mmm, yummy. Thanks for watching.